Today, we take a look at a full-sized, remote-controlled Chevy Corvette and the mastermind behind its creation. With a top speed of 186 miles per hour and a 400 horsepower V8 engine under the hood, this 2006 C6 Corvette is already impressive. Join us as we break down how the creator's RC system works, his other impressive projects, and his vision for the future. Bjorn Harms is a Dutch computer technician and creator of the RC Corvette. My inspiration for building the RC Corvette came from watching the movie Back to the Future when I was a kid. Uh, the scene where Doc controlled the DeLorean with his controller just always stayed with me. Bjorn learned how to make his car remote controllable from television shows and YouTube videos featuring similar conversions. But Bjorn had a special set of requirements. It had to be a cool car, something sporty or fast. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. None of the controls could be visible like other RC cars. It needed a failsafe for obvious reasons. But most importantly, it had to still function as his daily driver. Most shows and, and people projects, they often use, you know, junk cars, old cars. And the biggest difference is definitely that they all use big motors, big actuators, and they build it on the seat of the driver's seat. So the car is no longer a daily driver or, you know, manually controllable. Bjorn describes the way the system works as pretty simple. So, install all different kind of robotic servos on the controls of the car. So like the throttle, the braking, the steering and the shifter. Uh, all those servos are uh, hooked up to my custom control unit like this one. It also houses the motor controllers and the receivers. The receivers uh, communicate with the transmitter. So should I hit the throttle on the transmitter, the receiver receives the signal and sends the signal to the throttle so the car would accelerate. The entire building process took Bjorn around one year to complete and cost him just over $4,000. Uh, some of the challenges I ran across was definitely hiding all the controls under the dashboard in such a way that the car was still, uh, you know, a daily driver. With all of the modifications he made, Bjorn didn't forget about safety. Of course, the control unit also houses some fail saves. So should the car drive out of range, the throttle will be released and the brake servo will stop braking. The Corvette isn't the only car Bjorn has modified to be remote controlled. He did the same exact transformation to an original DeLorean DMC-12, the same car featured in Back to the Future. Uh, I started working on the DeLorean short after the completion of the RC Corvette and the owner contacted me over Facebook and he was like, you know, I have this DeLorean uh, Back to the Future replica and, you know, would it be possible to make this car remote controllable? You know, especially since the movie was also for me the inspiration on building a life-size RC car in the first place, I was like, you know, why not? Bjorn even converted a customer's Pontiac Trans Am that he was modifying to resemble the vehicle featured in the 1980s TV series Knight Rider. After building three full-sized remote-controlled cars, Bjorn doesn't plan on stopping, and he has some large aspirations for the future. Uh, well, I always wanted to try, uh, you know, fast, exotic cars like Lamborghinis or Ferraris, but it would also be cool to, you know, do something for, uh, I don't know, movies.